So I've gotten a few questions recently about uh, how to use the new Faces feature. It's actually called People in Photos for Sierra. So it's a little bit different than how it worked before uh, and it's not so straightforward as to how to get things going. But basically if you have a bunch of photos already in there and I just imported a bunch of clip art photos here with people in them you can go to the People section on the left sidebar and what you'll see is a bunch of identified faces but with no names under them. Because of course the Photos app can't guess what their name is but they do know that they're the same people. So for instance it knows that this person's there in two different photos. You see it has two under there. And I can click where it says Add Name and I can add a name. And I can do that for the others as well. And any that uh, I want to add to my favorites I can drag to the top here. And they'll appear here at the top and all the rest will appear, appear below. I can hit uh, Show Favorites Only or Show All. Uh, and that's basically how it works. Now what happens when you want to add more, right? You know that there's more faces in there. Uh, you want to add them to here. Then you use this Add People button. When we do that it's going to go to the screen and it's going to show you just the faces inside of other photos that it's identified. And I can now go ahead and uh, click on any one of those and hit Add. So for instance I'll click here and I'll hit Add. And it, see it adds it here at the bottom and I still have to assign a name just like before. And anytime I want I can return to Add People. Now what happens when I see that there's two photos here it's the same person. I can Control click to select multiple images just like you would in any app you're using. Once I've selected both of them I can hit Merge and Add. And it will merge those two into one. So you can see I have two there now. And I can see a name for that. Now, once I've done that as much as I want, and I could, you know, ignore some of these, get back to them later, that kind of thing, uh, I can go in to any one of these faces. So let's see in here. Uh, and I could see all the photos there. Uh, I can hit show all to see them all. So there's the two photos or show summary. And it kind of puts them in a, a nice arrangement here. It's just going to take one. I can look only at the faces so it just zooms in on the face and the same works when I hit Show All and Show Summary go back and forth which is handy when you want to find a good headshot of somebody regardless of what else is in the picture. And then you have some options here at the bottom when you're looking at an individual person. Confirm additional photos, unfavorite this person, or add to memories. Let's look at the one that uh, will help us add more faces here. Confirm additional photos. Um, and in this case it doesn't appear to be any. So let's go and find one where it makes sense. So I can click here on People. Uh, let's see. Uh, we go to Joe. Confirm additional photos. And no more of him. So we'll go to People. Let's go to Mike. And there we go. So then I get an additional photo. Is this Mike? And I can hit No or Yes. So I'll hit Yes. Another one. Yes. So it allows me to go through very quickly to eliminate some. I'll hit Done here. If I go back to People and hit Additional People there are fewer ones here now because I've gone through and added more. So it's very easy to be able to uh, go through and add some more. Uh, let's do it for this girl here. Merge and Add. And give her a name. Uh, and then we'll go there and then we'll say Confirm additional photos and yes, it's going to find a bunch of them. And that allows us to easily confirm those photos. Now, any photo we want, we don't have to be in the people mode. We can go into a photo here and we can see the names here. Uh, under View, uh, you'll have Hide and Show Face Names. So if you don't see them, that's where they are. And I can actually name them right from here. So I can go ahead and name them or hit the X button to delete them. So I don't have to be inside of People to add and delete faces. I could just be looking at the new photos that I have brought in and do it right from there. So there's tons of different options. Even if you look, uh, if you're in here and you can Control click um, on these to get more options. You can go in here and you can Control click to, and have some face options in there under Show All.
You can go into it, just about any photo any way you want and change the name. So there's tons of different ways to do it. Just whatever way works best for you. All these different options are there in Photos.